just spent took my time training. Uh, I went to took a holiday to California for two weeks, um, and then got slowly back into training. Really took my time. Uh, I didn't do any of any shows in Japan in the summer like I typically do, so I had more time to really focus on the programs and not feel rushed on the day-to-day -day work and the day-to-day -day training. Um, and it actually did help. I didn't think it would actually make a difference, but it, it really did. Um, because it allowed me to not put so much emphasis on being um, striving for perfection on every single day of training. Uh, and that uh, the mistakes is, is just a part of it. And, and yeah, it was, it was a good, good summer taking my time uh, going at my own pace. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's an Olympic season, um, but it's my third, so I, d I really wanted to try to do something different, not approach it the same as I did the last two, because looking back at it, stepping away from it and looking at it now, um, those two games were not, I could not, I didn't really enjoy them. I went, th it went by so fast and I didn't really have any memorable moments because I think I was just so caught up in micromanaging myself. Um, to skate well and putting too much emphasis on things that really wouldn't affect my skating. So I think now with being older and a little more experience, uh, I know what works and what really doesn't work or doesn't do anything. So uh, it's allowed me to relax a little more and, and put uh, enjoy the enjoy the experience a little more um, as opposed to being so focused on the result. So the short program is Dustin and Win by Kansas. Uh, long program is Hallelujah by Jeff Buckley. Uh, both pieces are, are very unique um, and different uh, than what I've skated. Both are lyrics, which isn't typical. Um, but my favorite is Dust in the Wind because it's it's got a lot of meaning to it. It's got, uh, I think the song itself has uh, relates a lot to, to uh, everybody's life and to my life and, and my approach to this season.